Joshua is with us in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Hi, Joshua. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Better than I deserve. What's up in your world? So right now I have an opportunity for a uh, career change. I'm, I'm currently working as a route salesman for Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Um, and I make anywhere between, you know, it's a commission job, so I make anywhere between uh, fifty to $70,000. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have an opportunity to work as a courier for FedEx. And the uh, plus for that is they will pay for my schooling. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it'll, it'll be a pay cut, but I'm thinking like in the future it may pay off, mm-hmm. you know, because I'll be able to go to school and they'll pay for it. Mm-hmm. So I was just wondering, uh, what, like, what, what your thoughts were on that. Okay. Well, the Coke routes, as you know, the Coca-Cola routes are really hard work. Uh, but if you hustle right. and grind, you can make good money, and you are. You've obviously built your route up pretty well. That's pretty good numbers. Um, and so that's not a bad gig at all. Uh, but, man, it's work, as you know. Um, and FedEx delivery is not, not like a walk in the park or anything. That's, that's pretty heavy work, too. But... Um, they're going to pick up school. What do you want to study? Where do you want to be in 10 years? I wanted to go for uh, business, uh, business management. And um, uh, my goal is to one day uh, just to pastor a church. Um, and I feel like, you know, uh, just knowing the business side of things could, could help aid in that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Well, the thing I always ask is just because the FedEx thing popped up, it's not a bad gig. But just because it popped up, is that the shortest track to your 10-year goal? And so if you'll reach out into your future and put a peg in the ground and go, that's where we're going, and then ask yourself what the straightest line is towards that peg, that answers a lot of your question. And you've kind of done that in that you said, hey, Coca-Cola is not a bad thing, but this other thing takes me through education path, which helps me get to that goal in the future, right? And so you're kind of doing that now. I'm just wondering if there's a fourth or a fifth or a sixth way to do your goal uh, that is as good or better. Um, if not, then the FedEx thing sounds like it's at least taking you toward the, your desired future, right? Right. And so lay out there, uh, where you want to be in the future. And, you know, you said you want to be a pastor. So, you know, where there is no vision, the people perish. So we reach out into the future right. and we, we lay down our vision and we say, all right, what are my nine steps to get there? What are my six steps to get there? How many years is it going to take? What's the process to be doing what I want to be doing at X date? And here's, what's weird. As soon as you put that in place, your life starts to form around that line and starts sucking you in that way. It has a gravitational pull. And so you're, you're already on it a little bit here. Uh, I, the only thing I'm going to challenge is just ask a bigger question and say, is there a shorter path even than the FedEx idea? If there's not, then that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Thanks for the call, dude. I appreciate it. You know, we all get stuck in orbit on stuff, don't we? And his discussions, uh, uh, he's obviously doing a really good job of managing his life, and he's thinking out into the future. But, you know, Earl Nightingale used to say that people too often spend more time picking out a suit of clothes than they do their next career. They just fall into it. How'd you get that job? My friend was working there. Well, that's a dumb reason to take a job. I mean, is that the best you got? Really? You know, well, my family always worked there. Well, have you looked at them? I mean, really, is that where you want to be? If it is, it's okay, but I mean, you need to have a real reason. Is it taking you where you want to go? Because I got to tell you, when you do nothing, stupid has a gravitational pull. You'll get locked into orbit around stupid, and it'll eventually pull you into itself, and you'll go down the vortex, man, and, and you just live your life as below average or mediocre if you're not careful. And so reach out there and look into the future and go intentionally, even if it's hard, even if it feels impossible, where do I want to be in 10 years? Where do I want to be in 20 years? When I'm 72 and got grandbabies bouncing on my knee, what do I want my life to look like and what are the steps to get it there? And that's on your career side. That obviously works with all the financial stuff we talk about. That'll lead you out of debt, onto a budget, into saving and investing so you can live that desired future with your dream. Live in the dream, as Hogan says. Dream in HD. Chris Hogan talks about that all the time with Retire Inspired Materials. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.